What's up? Mm. I look like I'm going bald. That's a new hair issue for Haley. <sighs> hey guys, so it is a video <laughs> that I haven't filmed in so long. All right, just tell. All right. Uh, hmm. So what happens when I don't film for a while? I get nervous. Alright guys, so today I have a new review for you, and this is one that I have never done before. Hence, new. But you already knew that. Oh, new, new, now, okay. I was very, very fortunate enough to receive a glossy box in the mail, and this is something that I've looked into, but I've never splurged and actually gotten the box. But you guys know how much I like subscription boxes, and this one was really pretty and I, I thought that it would be a fun one to try. So we're going to jump right on into this and everything that is in the box I have used. I'm using it today. I'll go over that more in depth with you but I do want to share my thoughts on this one versus the BoxyCharm because you guys know that I've reviewed those in the past and I really like those but I'm going to tell you which one I think is more worth it. So the one thing I like about Glossy Box is the presentation. This is a very well made box. This is one that I will probably keep for some reason, um, and it's just a very high quality packaging versus just a normal shipping box. So when you open it up, the presentation again is really, really nice. I've kind of messed it up a little bit, but pretty much it was had a bow tie, or not a bow tie, but a bow, and looks like this. So with the winter season here, this box focuses on changing up your skincare routine, which I love because I like to switch mine up each month. And the Vichy Purette Thermal 3-in-1 Cleanser for Sensitive Skin. And this is really, really a nice cleanser. It has a very faint smell. It is also for sensitive skin, so the fragrance is really not an issue. After I used this, I felt like my skin felt very clean, but not a um, like soapy clean where it's not moisturized. I felt like my skin was really baby soft after using this, and I really liked it. I mean, and it was better than my Clarins cleanser that I'm using now because this was a little more watery. It wasn't so pasty on my skin. So I really did like this, and this retails for $19.50. Plus, in the glossy box, you can receive discounts, which I like as well. So, for this one, if you want to order this online, you have a coupon code to get $5 off. Now, the next product I was really excited about because I've used the Lancome toner for a very long time, but in the winter time, I don't like it as much. It's too um, alcohol-based, and it leaves my skin feeling a little too tight and dry. And this brand is a Spanish brand, and I'm going to probably butcher this, but... Queshi or Keshi? Q-U-E-S-H-I. It is the Pure and Clean um, Tonic Tonico Facial Revitalance. Blah, 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 blah. I did take Spanish and I'm not proving myself very well. This has aloe vera and chamomile in it, so it's going to be soothing. This is also paraben free. Word. The smell of this is really nice. Most toners have an alcohol smell. This is just really clean kind of reminds me of bubble bath if that's makes any sense to anybody but when I use this it did remove the leftover makeup on my skin and my after using this my skin felt really clean and buttery like I just didn't even need moisturizer although the next step for the glossy box did tell me to use moisturizer but all in all I was really impressed with this and very excited because like I said I needed a good winter moisturizing toner so I highly recommend trying this and this retails for only $13.30. This is probably why I like this box as much as I do. Um, everything is from a different country which I think is really unique and I don't know if that's intended or what but it really exposes to new brands and I just felt like this was very Glam, like this was the box that I would wake up in Paris in a hotel. Like I felt like I needed to, like a like espresso and a croissant, and I don't know. I just felt chic with this box. Is that does that really probably sound like an idiot? Anyway, the next step that I had to try was the Skin and Co Truffle Therapy Serum. I mean, doesn't that just sound nice? 
Plus it's made in Italy. It's gotta be perfect. All my Italians out there. This was amazing. I am in love with this. I'm kind of sad it's in trial size because besides it smelling really nice, I, this is only going to apply to me because it's a memory for me. But the texture is super like silky. It's not sticky. It's not greasy. And it just smells clean, kind of powdery. But trust me, you'll you'll gonna you'll can't even talk today. The full size of that is eighty dollars. So, well, truffle is really expensive. Hmm. And this is a complexion perfecting serum. It brightens and firms skin on contact, fades lines, softens rough patches, and leaves behind a dewy, fresh faced finish. Would you guys agree? Do I look fresh faced? Let's hope. The next product was kind of exciting because I saw this packaging and was like, whoa, this is cool. It came in a box like this. It has this really cool floral, like abstract, kind of Urban Decay style packaging. And it's a company called Tease and it's Trendy Cosmetics Natural Hair Brushes. So I received the eyeshadow brush and it has rose gold hardware like how cool is that who doesn't like that and again it just has that same like flamingo avant-garde pattern on it and this applied really nice it you know went on there I didn't have any kind of fallout um, it's just a good like stiff eyeshadow brush I mean I can't really complain um, I have not checked out the other products but this does retail for $23.50 so I'm assuming that this is considered a high quality brush being that it's like a small eyeshadow brush and it's 23 bucks so, I like that though. So this may have been why I felt so chic with this box, but this was the last thing in the box, but it's certainly not least. This is the Lollipop eyeshadow, and Lollipop is a Parisian, Parisian, they, I was really excited because first of all, I ran out of eyeliner. Second of all, I was sick and tired of trying to always find my pencil sharpener and then when I would use the pencil sharpener, it would mess up the actual eyeliner. And this one is a crank up liner. And what's really nice about this is you kind of choose how you want it to look. So if you want it to be more buildable, you can go ahead and do a couple layers or it can just go on real easy for a natural look and it stays on and doesn't smudge in my eye in the corner of my eyes which was like huge for me because I tend to have that issue. But the packaging is really cute, the color payoff was great, it lasted all day, and the price on this baby is only $17, so that's comparable to something like an Urban Decay, Makeup Forever. Um, and this one also has a metallic finish, which I kind of did notice because when it goes on it's very, has like a nice sheen to it without it being distracting. And it also has vitamin E, so it nourishes the delicate skin area. Wow. Like it says, it's smudgeable for on-the-go smoky eye. So all in all, I think that the Glossy Box is totally worth it if you are looking for new high-end products and you want to try out things that you would eventually go and purchase because you do get trial sizes. So I think it's a great gift for somebody too. And if you want to know more about the Glossy Box and you want to receive your own, I will have links in the down bar below with a special coupon code for this month only. So go down there, check it out, and let me know if you guys get them, how you like them, and if you want to see more reviews. So that is the video for today, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!